Alright, what is going on guys? Five is back again coming at you with another top 10 list. Now, as the fire is still burning from my house after that tech list, here I come with the gasoline boys. Shout out to my boy Soldex from the BBS-Simulator.com and uh, yeah, let's just get right into it. Now, let's just go over the worst unit released in the 2020 for speed Senosuke wait for it and Yoruichi. <laughs> and Yoruichi now we were fooling around and we were like asking a vote and as you see here Senosuke got 22 votes and Yoruichi got 18 however when we started taking out the appro a cultural appropriation or Ihime from the situation, because she doesn't have guard break, right? So, like, her nat is kind of useless. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of useless. All right. So, you'll see here that when we voted... <laughs> now, keep in mind, these votes are restricted to the Discord. And it looks like Yoruichi and Senosuke both were able to secure the bag on the worst unit for speed in 2020 now Sinosuke has his issues mainly because even though even though he does have guard break and frenzy with berserker 20 uh, 40 percent which is he's not bad i don't think he's a bad unit keep in mind that every single speed unit released this year in my opinion was actually really good it's just for the worst unit if everything's really good there's got to be someone that's just at the bottom of the totem pole you know what i'm saying he's the little the little nugget at the bottom and then we have the little uh, nugget who just babes ba barely scraped up to the top yoruichi literally has absolutely almost zero use outside of uh, guild quest however since caleb decided to change up how guild quest works in terms of the attribute advantage she lost her value incredibly quickly almost instantly she had one week to shine and she will not shine for at least another three months making her in my opinion one of the worst speed units to be released this year if she was mind or um or heart i think she would have lived up to the challenge a bit more kind of like nanao um apache or masaki even like because even masaki is no affiliation killer which is kind of quote unquote useless only one week out of the guild quest stuff but like yeah oof <laughs> so yeah shout out to the boy asinosuke he is a he is the best healer in the game though i will give him that so should we ever actually need healers in content i do think that sinosuke will perform uh, pretty well yeah he doesn't have a healer but he does have medic he is a team healer have a 20 percent i don't think he's a bad unit it's just, <laughs> uh, it, it is what it is, bro. It is what it is. 1200 radius, full screen, third strong attack. Going into Yoroichi, her kit is not bad by what I remember, but like she's just a nad unit, right? Lunge, first strong attack, um, second strong attack, plant vortex, 975 AoE distant, third strong attack um, with a uh espada killer but espada killer is kind of so few and far between and speed attribute soul reaper normal attack damage that's kind of nice when it comes to epic raids sure but that's it like she's only going to be really used in epic raids unless it's her time to shine in guild quest in which case she's not a booster so like when she has attribute disadvantage you might not even want to use her unless she's max transcended which we try to base these lists on one of five units okay so let's go into the first honorable mention for the speed list Kisuke. Now, Kisuke, I get that a lot of people don't like him, but he's not actually bad. I feel like there's a lot of misconception because of how underwhelming that banner was as a whole. He does have a no affiliation killer, which does hold him back. Strong attack recharge minus 14%, Berserker 40%. I'll keep in mind this is honorable mention, and um, there there should be more on the honorable mention, but it's Christmas Eve, and I really do. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm a little short for time, so apologies on that. Devastation 60%, Frenzy and Sprinter plus one. He does have insta kill on his ultimate, and going into his kit, he has a 2500 length beam 800 aoe distant uh second strong attack and a 750 into 900 uh radius third strong attack if he was given havoc 20 percent, i think he would have been excellent but he wasn't given havoc 20 percent, and that's honestly a real damn shame and it's funny because like kokuto falls under i don't want to say kokuto falls under the same situation kisuke does hit harder than kokuto but i feel like kokuto has a bit more uses which we'll get into in a second Okay, and next on the list, we do have Kokuto, number 10. Strong attack recharge minus 12%. He does have a Soul Reaper killer, which I think is a lot more useful than a no affiliation killer, unfortunately. Now, he does have Debilitator 5 seconds with weakening only on his third strong attack and paralysis on his ultimate. 
I sure wish he had more status elements on his strong attacks. I feel like he would have been so much better. And he is a movie character, so he's so highly limited that actually obtaining him is going to be incredibly difficult to this day because of how they release. They don't have any more individual banners. They just compile them and hope that people will actually spend money for these underwhelming characters. Because even though Kogoto is the best movie character, only him and movie Ichigo, the movie 1 Ichigo, not even movie 4, are actually really useful. <laughs> it's unfortunate, but I mean it is what it is. Uh, going into his actual kit, he does have the lunge for strong attack. His second strong attack is the 800 circular AoE in front, which is really good. And then his third strong attack is the 1000 vacuum into explosion style ability at 675 radius, which isn't bad after you vacuum up the enemies. And it hits incredibly hard. This third strong attack is used by... Uh, can't for your own world now yell as well as fifth anniversary biakia it's a very strong third strong attack it does lock you into place for a bit but the damage that you get from it is still very 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 nice all right so that is number 10 on the list kokuto i really hope that uh <laughs> i could pull him sometime in the next 40 years all right next on the list momo now momo i feel took kisuke's spot she's actually really good um i don't think that she's like crazy busted but she does a hit hard her I want to say that her first strong attack, her lunge, as opposed to Kokuto's lunge, uh, she actually hits, um, I did the numbers, she hits 20% harder than Kokuto. This is actually 19.5%, I think, uh, if I minus it by one. Yeah, tw never mind, 20.4%. That's actually a lot and a lot and a lot of damage. She also is the increased power Link Slap Potions plus 5 character, which like I said, we're trying to do our best not to value that skill because that skill is incredibly valuable in terms of saving time. She is a Soul Reaper with Soul Reaper Killer. Berserker, 20%. No Havoc, unfortunately. Damage to Lacerated enemies plus 40%. So if she does proc Lacerate, which she has on all of her attacks, she does actually deal significantly more damage on top of that, which is really nice. She was given Devastation. 40% which gets compounded with the damage to lacerated enemies plus 40% so she hits like a truck when it comes to her ultimate and not only that but with the damage to lacerated enemies plus 40 the devastation 40 and the lacerate itself this will deal not only a ton of damage but it'll also lock down the enemies from being able to do their insta kill mechanics if you don't already one shot them to begin with she has frenzy and sprinter plus one definitely a good character to invest into simply because of <laughs> Shout out to the boy Valley Pierce for the subscription. <laughs> I appreciate you, boy. Thank you. <laughs> oh, man, that scared the literal hell out of me. I'm like, yo, I'm trying to record here. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh man god bless bro thank you so much all right so next on the list we do have a thousand year blood with yoruichi now i'm surprised that she made it this high she's actually really good i get that she has a little bit of hitbox issues when it comes to her first strong attack she is a strong attack damage plus 20 percent link with a hollow killer i'm hoping that with her resurrection she becomes even better she does have a sprinter plus one giving her four flash steps since she is a yoruichi yoruichis have three flash steps innately her ultimate transforms her resetting her cooldown so the strong attack damage link is not actually that bad you can consider it a berserker in a way a debilitator plus five seconds paralysis on everything the can't for your own world round one nell yells first strong attack during her transformation mechanic her kit is actually pretty damn good too her first strong attack is the 475 standard lunge her second strong attack is the 575 lunge that uh, tla soyfon has and then she has a full screen third strong attack now she doesn't have a long stride like thousand year uh, excuse me like the lost agent soyfon however she does have like the same strong attack setup which is really 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 nice and it's considering that she can reset her cooldowns uh she actually is one of the faster units in the game it's actually really really nice i hope that when they resurrect because uh, let's be let's be real here it's more of a when not an if when they resurrect these characters because caleb likes money and this is this will make them a lot of money i hope that they actually do a really good job with her okay and number seven on the list thousand year blood war yamamoto one of the characters that actually changed the game he is the first character with the so-called god kit which means he has a 2500 length beam first strong attack an 800 circular aoe second and then his full screen 1000 length uh, 1000 radius excuse me third strong attack he does have hollow killer he is a soul reaper captain strong attack recharge minus 12 percent he looks dope his animations are cool his ultimate actually has a vortex a walking vortex around himself which is really really nice deals tons and tons and tons of damage as well as burns the enemy he has debilitator plus two seconds with burn on all of his attacks uh, fire and freeze immunity in my opinion were kind of wasted unfortunately devastation 40 percent frenzy and sprinter plus one if he came out 
in this day and age, he'd be so nasty, just like the tech one. So I'm actually really excited to see what comes out in the future when it comes to uh, the release of the next characters. Overall, very, very good character, very staple in terms of just like what he's done for uh, the game, in my opinion. All right, next on the list, Okiora. And Okiora honestly eked him out by a bit just because of like, <laughs> realistically speaking, Okiora just deals so much damage. Uh, first and foremost, he has weakening on all of his attacks. Strong attack recharge 12% with a hollow killer. Berserker 20% with guard break, which means that you don't have to worry about uh, losing any damage to the big enemies. Debilitator plus 5 seconds with the weakening. Devastation 40% with weakening on his ultimate. Really good. Bruiser 20% and Sprinter plus 1. He does have Frenzy, of course. And uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Aesthetically, I think he looks so dope. Uh, his first strong attack is the standard lunge, 475 radius. Uh, second strong attack is going to be the 2500 length beam. And the third strong attack is going to be the standard full screen third strong attack as well as his ultimate. Uh, I do wish, I do hope, excuse me, that Caleb starts taking note of this new Grimjaw that came out, the tech one, where it's the beam first strong attack and then the good lunge second strong attack. I think it's like a 600 radius, which is really nice. I'm hoping that they start doing that from now on. If this Okiora had that, that would have been great. But uh, as of right now, he does hit really, really hard. He has a pretty good kit. And uh, yeah, I mean, overall, uh, 2020, I think has been a good year for um, this game as a whole. All right, next on the list, Bambietta, number five. <laughs> I actually really love, love, love this Bambietta. The only issues that I have with her is that her explosions are so glaring that it makes it really hard to see the damn ground when you're doing something like Epic Raids. When you actually have to pay attention to what's on the ground, she makes it incredibly difficult. <laughs> Now, she does have Havoc 20% with Berserker 20% with Soul Reaper Killer as well. Um, I wish so that she had Guard Break just because of her, uh, like it literally says my bombs can't be guarded against. Come on, Caleb, y'all can do better than that. Damage to burning enemies plus 20% with burn on all of her attacks. Devastation 40%, Frenzy, Sprinter plus 1, and Bruiser 20%. She has a first strong attack akin to uh, Christmas, no, excuse me. To Halloween Soifon, where it is a shave style ability that explodes into a radius of uh, 690, which is actually pretty good. Her second strong attack is the 800 AoE circle that becomes 960 because of Havoc, and then the third strong attack, 1200 radius. Very, very, very good character. Uh, and on top of that, honestly, look at her. She's, she's adorable. She's, she's adorable. Oh, she looks so good. <laughs> Next on the list, Basby. Uh, number four, Basby. I really feel like he is complete. I honestly believe that he's like pretty interchangeable with uh, Tenjiro, to be honest. They're both incredibly good characters and they both play incredibly differently. Like, first and foremost, let's just get right into it. Basby, Berserker 20%, Havoc 20%. Increased status ailment chance to power attribute or cars. The only thing that I don't like about this skill is simply because usually the trash enemies are going to be dead anyways, and usually uh, the power attribute or cars, you're probably going to soul bomb them if they're your um, sword I'm looking for. If they're bosses in something like extreme co-op, etc. And, and in and since he wasn't put out with an epic raid with the Ronkars, I feel like he didn't really get his chance to shine there either. Now he does have Debilitator plus 2 seconds with burn on everything. His kit is actually pretty nice. He does have a lunge first strong attack, the 570 radius which is good. Second strong attack is going to be the 960 AoE distant just like Bambietta. And then on top of that his third strong attack is a 900 radius, even bigger than 5th anniversary Ichigo's and then it turns into 1080 which is the same as 5th anniversary Ichigo because of the Havoc 20%. Overall, incredible character. Honestly, the top 4 units in this list are probably like some of the best characters in the entire game. Alright, and next on the list, I have to give it to Kirinji. I really like Kirinji. I understand that him and Baz B are like competing and whatnot, but I do feel like Kirinji edges him out. He has paralysis on everything, debilitator plus 5 seconds. He does have revive on his ultimate, which in co-op could be very useful, especially considering that he buffs 5th anniversary Byakias and allows people to play with uh, reckless endangerment. Uh, Havoc 20%, Berserker 20% with the speed attribute Soul Reaper strong attack damage, so he gets 40% Berserker pretty much, Debilitator plus 5 seconds, Devastation 40%, Frenzy, and Sprinter plus 2. I think that the Sprinter plus 2 is probably the deal breaker when it comes to making him third. Uh, I do feel like that honestly makes him really, 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 really good. His first strong attack is the standard lunge. His second strong attack is a 3000 length beam. I do feel like the second strong attack is a bit inferior to the 960. I do like the 3000 length beam, don't get 
get me wrong, but that night there's nothing that replaces that sexy 960. However, his third strong attack is, in my opinion, superior because I per well, I mean, I guess this is preference at this point, but the 975 AoE distance strong attack that does hit a little bit behind you turns into 1170 radius in front and this is pretty much like a nuking soul bomb like the radius on a soul bomb is what one like 1000 radius around you like well, it's 2000 radius from side to side but like around you is like pretty much a thousand and this is even beyond that so i really really love this character he's really dope and uh yeah i mean overall both these characters are incredible like i said these are pretty much both interchangeable to an extent and uh yeah i mean i guess uh i guess that's that going to number two. Ah, ah, great. And here, here comes the fun part. Number two, I'm gonna have to give it to Ishin. Now, Ishin, in my opinion, is faster than Byakuya, but the reality is Byakuya is so much versatile than Ishin, it's not even funny. Being able to go into four different guild quests, being able to solo extreme co-op, being able to do whatever you want, like Byakuya, in my opinion, just edges them out by just a bit. That being said, there's like both these characters are stupid incredible units okay so let's just get right into it berserker 20 percent havoc 20 percent frenzy devastation 40 percent debilitator plus two seconds burn on everything sprinter plus one he claps cheeks like yo bro like the one thing that he does have over byakia is he does get to clap masaki's precious pancakes on top of that he does have reed hollow dodges kind of wasted but in transcendent zone it is really really op Poison immunity as well as an innate skill, which means that he doesn't have any wasted skills here, aside from the bruiser. <laughs> now they always waste a skill on the bruiser, but that's fine. Going into his kit, he does have the 3000 length beam, 960 circular AoE distance strong attack, and strong attack 3 standard full screen third strong attack. He is literally a Yamamoto on crack. Like... Like, he is literally almost copy-paste Yamamoto with tons and tons and tons more damage. Oh, it's so good. On top of that, his ultimate looks sexy, as you see here. And on top of that, honestly, he, the fact that he does have speed attribute Captain Strong Attack damage, which gives him a Berserker of 40%, while being able to boost your Byakia while boosting himself, is just really, really, really nice. Honestly, I do feel like these two characters can definitely make a case uh, for best character in the like literally be, like best characters in the game like bar none <laughs> i want to say that these two characters alone are top five units and uh yeah overall just very very good units now going into byakia useful in four different guild quests always going to be meta in extreme co-op on top of that with the two killers and extreme co-op he's going to be very good no matter what goes down he can auto extreme co-op if you want him to he hits hard with his first strong attack he hits hard with his second he hits hard with his third he has bombardment and frenzy being the first unit with frenzy and bombardment that's actually a good character alone has havoc 20 percent with a berserker of 40 percent he also has Sharpshooter, which actually nullifies range resistance as well as breaks guard, which means that you don't have to worry about losing damage to guard breaking, as well as Sprinter plus one. This character, in my opinion, is dominant in almost every... No, no, he's dominant in every aspect that you put him in except for PvP, but PvP is garbage anyway, so that's fine. He's also an Enhanced Strong Attack Recharge Link, and Soul Reaper and Hollow are two very, very, in my opinion, high-value PvE killers to have. His kit, he has the Shave for Strong Attack, which honestly is not very good, but fortunately he was given his Berserker 40% and his high SP, so this Strong Attack actually ends up being pretty okay. His second Strong Attack is the AoE Distant 960, second strong attack with a 16 second cooldown but wait there's more because this also comes with a 630 radius plant homing vortex that will literally track the enemies even after the original ones die this will always track whatever enemy is on the screen regardless of where you're standing regardless of the enemies if they are triggered it is incredible he has a 960 with four hits which is really good and then on top of that the 50 hit vortex on his second strong attack the fact that this is a 16 second cooldown instead of a normal 24 for the 50 hit combo of vortex is insane because with full strong attack recharge like say you run him with 56 percent strong attack recharge you pretty much have your second strong attack up at all times when it comes to the vortex his third strong attack is the 1200 to 810 radius third strong attack it vacuums them in it explodes it deals tons of penis and then on top of that Ah oh man, the Havoc 20% just edges him out so hard. The fact that his Bombardment skill 
hits eight times with a magnification of 150%, which is kind of standard, like means that you're effectively doubling your damage. Even though you don't have devastation 40% here, the bombardment is pretty much devastation plus 60% with uh, additional hits, which means that more enemies are gonna die. But pretty much more enemies are gonna die than a normal devastation. Honestly, I do feel like this list is accurate. All right, like, I get that people are, are gonna hate. It is what it is. But um, that's just like at the end of the day, it is what it is. That's my personal preference. I do think that this list is accurate. Um, I'm gonna leave it at that. Let me know what you guys think. I do think that this Biaki is absolutely nasty. I'm gonna be hoping that I pull him. I'm only gonna do six steps on this vote selection banner, but uh, I mean, it is what it is. But I'm gonna leave it at that. You know, guys, grind all catch up. Stay blessed. Y'all have a blessed Christmas Eve, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.